Transform. Hmm. Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. Today I'm checking out one of the vehicles from Mask Series 3 in 1987. The Razorback. Now the Razorback is a pretty cool looking Ford T-Bird race car that's got a pretty weird looking alternate action mode. But we'll get more into that later. The packaging box for the Razorback has an awesome visual of the vehicle in action, just blasting away at some unseen enemy. Check out those lasers just going off like that. You don't see what they're shooting at, but it's shooting at something. When I actually look at the box here, what I see is a whole lot of text, alright? There's a whole lot of text here on this one box. Starting at the top here, you get something that's uh, like a serial number for the vehicle, and then you get the text description here. What you got here is the Mars T-Bird stock car slash snap action rescue tank. That's what this thing turns into with action figure. Uh, and where are the side here? In very small print, it says toy vehicle and accessories. Can you read that? Uh, ages 4 and up. Below that, it says caution, not for children 3 and under, small parts. Yeah, couldn't they have found a way to just combine these two sentences? Below here, you get the uh, picture of Brad Turner, it says Brad Turner action figure, and then uh, the Kenner label just below that, it says poster included at the side there. And over in this corner here, it says uh, it, that this vehicle has been safety tested, okay? And uh, further along here, it says uh, T-Bird stock car changes to snap action rescue tank and back. Again, just repeating the text that's at the top. Okay, I mean, so like I said, just you know, just the front of the box alone has got so much text for you to read and digest. All right, <laughs> on the side here, uh, what in the hell is this supposed to be? It's like a something like the store stuck on the box here, like a serial number or something. Yeah, you know, all around the box, you get you know, these incredible images, you know, just great photography of the vehicle, all of its different functions, and with more descriptions. All right, nothing. Is left to chance here, alright? Okay, they tell you everything about this vehicle. And on the back here, we get the standard blueprint of the vehicle, uh, telling you what everything is supposed to be. Uh, for instance, you know, important information like on the back here, uh, yeah, these are just normal lasers, these are metal cutting lasers, okay? Aren't uh, lasers supposed to be able to cut through metal anyway? I don't know, man. You tell me, okay? But uh, yeah, like I said, okay, they, they give you a ton of information here. Uh, and anyway, at the bottom here, we've got uh, the uh, Kenner's promise to the consumer. All right, very fine print. Uh, also below that, the Kenner label again, the barcode, the official proof of purchase, Razorback. Uh, here we have more stuff for you to read. State said that the Razorback is an official Ford Motor Company vehicle, right? It's officially licensed, so that's awesome. Okay, uh, and then over the bottom here, we've got like a sticker, and this has been stuck onto the box at the factory, in fact, uh, which is curious, right? It wasn't printed on the box, but it says that the vehicle was made in Mexico while the figure was made in China. How about that? And then over on this side here, we've got the description of what the mask theme is all about. And then uh, we've got a description of uh, Brad Turner's Eclipse Mask. It says here, Brad Turner's mask with Eclipse Mask that pretends to create darkness for 10 seconds. Not bad. I love the way that they are very precise, okay, with the 10 seconds, okay. They could have just said creates momentary darkness or something like that. But they just went into very specific uh, details here. 10 actual seconds. Anything more or less? Uh, you get a refund. Take a close-up look at the Razorback. And I gotta say that this sure is one fancy-looking race car. I love the details here. And I love the fact that everything is done through the use of paint and sculpting. Uh, all of the details here, like all the sponsorship information on the race car, is all done by, you know, being painted onto the actual vehicle itself. And there's nothing here that's done through the use of stickers. Okay, like something like the afterburner, for instance. Everything on that car was just done with stickers. But here, all the details are painted on, like uh, like even the driver's details, all right? Brad Turner. Okay, so, you know, if Venom agents are looking for him, I guess they'll know where he's going to be, right? You know, he's going to be right here in the Razorback. The car says so. Now, like almost all of the Mars toy vehicles, the Razorback comes with real rubber tires. The tires actually used to be sponsored officially by Goodyear, but uh, from this series onwards, it appears that Goodyear is no longer in. The tires now say something like Mask Turbo on them. 
But yeah, this look great and they've also got nice shiny die cast rims. Now the one thing that's amazing about the Razorback is that this vehicle's got some serious heft to it, right? This entire undercarriage is made out of die cast metal and this is fantastic, right? The vehicle's genuinely heavy. Yeah, you see how it says they're made in Mexico. You know, something like the Thunderhawk was just really lightweight, okay? The whole undercarriage was plastic, but this one is heavy. The Razorback is operated by driver Brad Turner, who's got a really great looking race car driver outfit here, some really nice details. And, uh, you know, Brad Turner is generally considered to be one of the coolest agents of Mask because his alter ego is that of a rock star, right? Now, one thing about the uh, masks on these figures, I would say that if you leave them on for too long without taking them off from time to time, uh, they tend to strip the paint off the figure's head, like off the figure's hair and stuff like that. So that's probably something you want to take note of, all right, when you're storing and displaying the figures together with their masks. Now, Brad fits into the Razorback by climbing into the vehicle from the top. Uh, there's a hatch here that leads into this tiny cockpit, kind of a small compartment there. All I can say is, thank goodness we don't have to fit any stickers in there, yeah? Okay, so once you've gotten comfortable in there, just right there in the cockpit like that, all right, just seated comfortably, all you gotta do is just close up the hatch, and now it's time to transform the razor back. Get it into action mode. Okay, transformation time. So what you gotta do is press on the button located here at the top of the hood. Just press it once, and this will cause the vehicle to rise up with both the front and back sections folding down. And uh, yeah, you basically got this thing in its action mode. Let me just try that one more time. Sometimes it doesn't work quite as effectively. Let's try it again. Boom, okay. Uh, sometimes you only get the back section flipping out. Uh, yeah, so you know it's a little bit of trial and error. Either way, you gotta flip out the front set of wheels manually, and then you've got this thing in its snap action rescue tank mode. I still don't know what a snap action rescue tank is, but uh, it's just a fancy way of saying that this thing just becomes something that uh, is ready for combat, I suppose. Now, on the rear windscreen of the vehicle, there's a panel here that you need to flip around. All right, there's a middle panel here that you need to flip around, and this will reveal a set of lasers, okay? A set of twin lasers, okay, ready to take out the enemy from the rear. Now, the side doors flip down to reveal the mask logo. <laughs> awesome. Also, you get a set of hidden uh, cannons, right? The flip outward. These are cool looking, but I gotta say that you know the cannons together with the doors are on these very fragile hinges. Just ridiculously fragile hinges. And you need to be really careful around these, okay? Because they snap off very easily at just the slightest hint of aggression. Like if you just think that they're gonna snap, uh, they probably would. All right, so just be really careful. Okay, so now you've got the Razorback all laid out in full defense mode. Now, the front end of the vehicle here, um, this thing here actually has a missile attached to the front end here. Yeah, this thing shoots out, okay? So there's a button here at the side of the door. Let's just test this thing out, okay? Let's go, boom! <laughs> All right, kind of spring-loaded missiles never disappoint, okay? These have a really good firing range. Uh, if you've got a vehicle inside, so okay, like an enemy vehicle, let's just see how this thing operates. Let's just shoot it right there. Pow! Okay, never stood a chance. The other thing with the Razorback is that, you know, it could kind of sort of like look like a bridge of sorts. Okay, like it, it could be lying in wait, like in camouflage, like a bridge, and you could have like something like an enemy vehicle passing through underneath. So like then you would have the enemy passing through underneath thinking it's an overpass above him, all right? He has no idea at all what's going to happen. And then, you know, when he least expect it, you sort of just, you know, you just sort of crush him. Like, ah, ugh, ah, just crush him, okay, all right? Just like that, all right? What do you think? What do you think about that, guys? Okay, guys, so that's the video. That's my look at the Mask Series 3 Razorback from 1987. Some of you guys may find this vehicle a bit weird looking in its defense configuration mode. I know I certainly do, but uh, at the same time, it's okay. Uh, the race car vehicle mode is definitely awesome. Let me know what you guys think of the Razorback in the comment section below. I'll catch all of you again real soon with more content. Thank you and take care.